Hello reformers and welcome back to Viking Conquest. Now when we left off we were riding the ocean waves and seeing many giraffes in the process. Yeah, if you saw the, uh, <laughs> the previous episode then you know exactly what I'm talking about there. Otherwise, we have a massive band of leveled up peasant women units and we're not afraid to use them against these guys. Now, Bear in mind, this is probably going to be one of those better fights. 49 against 50. We're getting 14 renown for this victory. And bear in mind that this particular battle includes 27 of these Norwegian Vikings. I'm a bit worried. Suffice it to say, I'm a bit worried because, well, I, I'm not entirely sure if we can do this. But we're going to try our best, and our best is usually not good enough. <laughs> oh, of course, I'm, I'm joking. I mean, yes, our best is sometimes a little bit questionable, but still. Anyway, I would love to... Uh, I'd love to go and help those guys over there, but it seems like we're having a couple of, couple of difficulties. Actually, oh my, are you serious? Uh, this is not good. This did not work out as I intended. We're going to lose a bunch of our units over there because our boats decided to go this way. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have gone so fast. I probably should have been a little bit more maneuverable and uh, <laughs> dealt with them a little bit better. But, oh, well, never mind. Most of our forces are probably just going to succumb to unconsciousness more than anything. And I think that is... I think that's absolutely fine, to be honest. So... Oh, what? 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 Is there a, another boat? Or Oh, they killed all of our units. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I understand. I understand, fellows. You killed all of my units, and now I'm going to kill all of you, because that is how revenge works. Thank you. Okay. Are they, are they going to actually allow me to do this, or... Seems like they're just... Okay, they are starting to defend now a little bit. Oh, 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 oh okay. I'm going to go over here real quick. Because these guys are actually pretty, pretty difficult, and I'm a bit worried now, actually. I think I might be able to survive just if I can... Uh, 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 oh, okay, let's kill that guy, and oh dear. Bad things are happening. Bad things indeed. Oh dear. Okay, I'm going to have to retreat. Are we... Wait a minute. Do you think we can do this? I think we might be able to do this. If I'm, yes, I'm, if I'm still alive, we should be able to do it. That was really close. Do you see what I mean, though? I thought to myself that was going to be a good battle, and it was until I died, kind of, so. Okay, let's not speak about that. Let's just swiftly move on. I'm going to turn my ship in the only direction it knows how. Right, and left, and forward. And then we're going to go this way. Yes. Let us put their ship between us and the other one. Yes. <laughs> uh, my sound strategies have been uncovered. Oh, okay, so there we go. That is that is what we want to do. And then I'm going to hopefully be able to deal enough damage. Ah, yeah, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, come on now. Yeah, come on. Kill them all. Kill them all, guys. Come on now. Let's do this. I mean, I do have a couple of veterans. Oh, what? What? How did I die? How? What? How did I die? Oh dear. This is not good. I mean, we might be able to survive because our forces are actually doing a pretty good job, but what is, what is up with this after-death camera? This after-death camera is a little bit floaty for my liking, but okay. Seems like we might actually achieve victory here. I don't know, though. Maybe not. I'm going to retreat again, and we're... Okay, here we go. Uh, wow, well, I literally... Uh, wow, well, okay. I retreated and lost 21 renown. Are you serious? I mean, come on. It's a hard battle. Uh, kind of. Isn't it? I, th I think it's a pretty difficult battle. I mean, they have a lot of Norwegian units, and they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty harsh. So that is to be expected. I'm actually kind of surprised that they give you such harsh penalties for retreating when it's in your tactical best interest. I find that very strange. I mean, I'm a bit... You know, you know I'm not the biggest fan of Viking Conquest at the best of times, because... It is very, very difficult, and I don't mind when games are difficult, I mind when they are unfairly difficult, and sometimes, sometimes Viking Conquest does that, so that's obviously a bit of a, an issue, but yeah, for the most part, I do quite like the systems in Viking Conquest, 
but for the most part, yeah, not much, not much. And that's, that's saying a lot because I'm, I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty easygoing when it comes to mods and indeed paid mods as well because sometimes they're made by you know mod developers and they may not have the resources and the funding and so on and so forth that an actual developer does and hilariously enough they, they did actually get official you know conjunct what is it now conjoined cooperation whatever you want to say from tail worlds themselves and so that's the reason why you know you can kind of expect Viking Conquest to have that same kind of, you know, that same kind of quality that original Warband does. And while, uh, yes, the original, you know, version of Viking Conquest that I played when it first came out, that was, in my opinion, a, a bit of a travesty because it just didn't really work very well. There was a, a lot of crashing and everything was a bit disjointed and, yeah, it was just not very well constructed but with the reforged edition that seems to have changed a little bit with the exception of the brutal difficulty I mean you've seen how much renown I've lost there which is pretty crazy in itself because you wouldn't think oh I don't want to buy that you wouldn't think that you would gain or lose that much renown just from a naval battle and yes okay you know I was retreating just because I'd gotten taken out and so on and so forth but is that better than getting taken prisoner? Yes, I suppose it is. But in the grand scheme of things, why would there be such a harsh penalty? And I know that many of you are going to be in favor of the penalty because you're just going to be like, oh, well, just don't die then, you know? Yeah, well, that's true, you know? But most of us, or shall we say, I would say the majority of people are probably not going to be in favor of losing 21 renown for... I indeed losing or shall we say retreating from a battle you would expect a little bit of a shall we say a little bit of leniency obviously back in these times you know if this if this you know if this mod is trying to be historically accurate as I forget to wait here for some time but yes if, if it is trying to be historically accurate then obviously the enemy is not going to have any mercy whatsoever I mean sometimes yes but it, that's only in rare occasions. And then you've got to think to yourself, well, if they're trying to be super realistic, then I'm talking about, like, delving into simulation-style realism here, then surely that would mean that you are not able to retreat from battle in the first place. So if you think about realism from that standpoint, it kind of doesn't make much sense if they're trying to be semi-realistic. I mean, you know, sometimes, yes, being... A little bit realistic is a good thing, and sometimes being a little bit non-realistic is also welcome. But for the most part, I would say that for retreating, considering this is a single-player game for the most part, retreating should not have such a harsh penalty. I can see maybe 10 Renown, something like that, maybe halve it a little bit, but obviously it's been developed. You know, th this is not in development. In de no. This is not in development any further, if I could speak. That would be great. Or as far as I'm aware... It's not in development any further. Maybe there are a couple of fixes here and there, but I don't think they are actively working on it any further. Ah, oh, Bader's returned, and we've got some right to rule. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to sell... <laughs> I'm going to sell. No, I'm going to send off more Gant, and we're going to say that, oh, would you support me, and so on and so forth. Yes. Okay, so let's go over here and speak to this fellow, because look at him. Look at his insane amounts of stats. Yes. He's just bristling with stats. Unfortunately, I'm not able to give him 21 strength just yet, so we're going to have to wait for that. I'm going to... Hmm, yeah, that's the thing. I, I think I'm going to go for... I don't even know what to go for with Bodo, to be honest, because he has Trainer right now. And I suppose leveling up Intelligence would be a good idea for that, but he is, in general, not very... I mean, yeah, I guess I could get him some more strength, but that's not going to do anything until we get him to the next level. I suppose he might level up pretty pretty soon, I suppose, maybe? Uh, I guess so. Anyway, let's just give him a little bit in first aid then, because you never know, maybe our medic is going to go down and then he can be the backup, the backup first aider. And, ooh, Kayo, yes, there we go. Let's get, wait a minute, do we want to do that? 
What is this? Agility. He already has eight in spotting and pathfinding. I mean, if I do this, it, it makes no difference whatsoever. I need to get 19 for that. Or 18. <laughs> yeah. So that would... That would be another two levels. He might be able to get there. Okay, let's do that. Why not? And now we have two points. I guess I should just level up his leadership and his iron flesh. Whoa, he has a lot of points to spend, actually. Huh. I suppose weapon master. I mean, what else can I go for, really? Not much. So, uh, no, no. I don't want to ask you anything. Thank you. Okay, so let's just level up Helgi. We're going to be heading on after I've leveled up these companions to probably go and attempt Odin's cave again because I actually think that we would be able to do it now. I seem to be a little bit more lively on my feet, suffice it to say, so maybe we'll be able to do that. Let's get a little bit more in wound treatment, surgery, first aid, all that wonderful stuff. Let's get a little bit more in tactics as well, just in case our tactician goes down. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. I mean, who's our tactician right now? Bodo. Oh, well, <laughs> yes, he's... Uh, He's probably going to leave relatively soon, so I suppose that's not really a big deal. Okay, so there you go. That's it. And hopefully at the town of Tunsberg, we will hopefully encounter a ransom broker. I very much hope so, but who knows? You know how it is. Ransom brokers are very, very difficult to come across for the most part. So let's just go over here. Ah, that smell is of salt and the sweat of the people that work the sea. It is the warmth of home, Tunsberg. I'm from here, you know. I think I have managed to become such a fine warrior by your side because war runs thick in the blood of every man and woman of... Is it Norway? Because I think someone in the comments actually said that Solvig is Danish. So I have no idea. It sounds like Norway to me, but obviously, you know, what do I know? Anyway, these are times of war in this land. The Jarls fight each other constantly. A young lord from Tunsberg, Harold Tangolair. Yeah? Tangler hair? I don't know. Intends to rule over all the land. Mm, yeah, that's what I'm doing. He is smart and ruthless, like you, handsome. Then he says he will finally comb his head and marry Gida Gida Eirik's daughter. Uh, yes, Eirik's daughter. And of, but of course, he'd have to kill her father first anyway. Yes. Tunsberg is an important center of commerce. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's very nice. Okay, so let's go into Tunsberg and maybe oh there's a tournament here as well maybe we can do that too but I'd very much like ah ransom broker ransom broker where are you ransom broker nowhere that's 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 unfortunate all right so we're gonna go and I guess we'll we'll go to Bodin's cave I gotta be a bit careful here because no doubt the bandits have leveled up since last time and they're not gonna be as easy as they were before Let's just be a little bit careful here. I think we could probably deal with them, but I don't really want to take that chance right now. I'd just like to get to Odin's cave without too many difficulties. And could you just, yeah, just all run away from me. That would be nice. Thank you. There's also a lumber camp here if we want to get a piece of timber. Because you never know, maybe a piece of timber would actually be a pretty good thing to go for because we can then build our own ship. And building our own ship is maybe something we would look into doing if we can build it out of oak. I think that would be pretty fantastic, but obviously, don't know whether it's going to happen. Okay, so, well, Odin's Cave is very far away, isn't it? Oh, well. We can talk about our shipbuilding activities. Ah, actually, never mind. We've apparently just gotten here already. All right. It looks like someone's... Okay, wait a minute. I, I'm going to save, because you never know what's going to happen. Maybe there's going to be a crash or something when I can actually complete this. Who knows whether I'm actually going to complete it, though. Let's, <laughs> let's be a bit careful. I mean, I have a, a, a little bit of javelins, a couple of them. I'm not going to read this again, because we've already read that many times over. And, uh, yes, hopefully the enemies inside will... I mean, I have, a, I have a much better sword this time. My armor is not that much better, which i got to say is a bit disappointing, but maybe... Maybe that's not going to make a difference. Maybe it won't make a difference. So let's see what I can do here. I'm just going to wait around the corner for our stamina to regenerate itself just a little bit. Going to use it two-handed, because obviously two-handed is the way to go. I mean, big swords, you know. I'm speaking from experience here, obviously. And, uh, you know, we're well-versed in using a two-handed. So let's let's try our best, shall we? All right. Come on. Hello there. Yes. Okay, so just waste all of your javelins. This is my initial tactic, because I like them to use their javelins first, just so that I don't have to worry about... Whoa, he broke his... 
He broke his weapon? <laughs> he broke his weapon. Okay, well that's hilarious in itself. Okay, so this guy is obviously going to be a bit of an annoyance, but that's okay. That's okay. Because I can go for a, a couple of side swipes, and maybe that's going to... Ooh, okay. They're, yeah, they're cornering me. That's the thing. That's the thing that really, really gets you. When they corner you in this kind of situation, that is the problem. Yeah, there we go. Take that, Bandit King. And take that, Reaver, and all your other friends, and hopefully I'm not going to get skewered in the face. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Wait. Okay. Nice critical. Oh, did I really? I... Oh, see now that's what I that's what I mean. I feel like this is I mean like yes, okay. It is obviously unfair. I'm going to try this one once more. Why am I do I really Okay. Apparently I literally took enough damage so that I have to wait here for some time. Are you serious? That is adding insult to injury if ever I saw it. At least put me back to 100% HP. Ah, yes, yes. Viking Conquest, everyone. That is that. That is Viking Conquest in a nutshell. I mean, you know, obviously we haven't experienced the new story mode. Maybe we want to check that out, because apparently it's different. Apparently it's different than it used to be. So it would be kind of cool to actually try that out at some point. Maybe some point in the near future, who knows. Really depends on how everything goes with the Sandbox campaign. So here we go. Gonna try this once again. I actually don't know whether I should go up top again or whether I should just make quick work of everyone outside like I did beforehand, but play it a little bit differently against the Bandit King. Because the Bandit King, he's a bit annoying, you know? He survives more than one shot and, uh, you know, he, he makes himself known a little bit too well. So that's obviously a bit of an issue. He's got a dagger. Am I really scared of, a, of someone that has a dagger? Why am I scared of this? Really shouldn't be. Okay, I'm scared of that! Oh, really? Taking that much damage from a young warrior, that's bad. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I thought so. Okay, so here we go, here we go. Gonna try my best in preventing myself from taking fleeting damage. So far, so good. We've killed. We've hit him for 67. That's nice. And there's one of his bodyguards gone down there. And there's another one. And there's the Bandit King himself. And I suffer an injury. No, that's awful. That's terrible. That is very, very bad indeed. But it's okay because I can just dodge that guy. Now, hopefully, they don't have any more. Ra oh no, no more ranged, please. Okay, come on now. We got this. We got this. Yes. We just have to do a little bit more, a little bit more, and yeah, there we go. Dodge that guy's stab. All right. So that's not very good because <laughs> we still have a whole bunch of enemies still to kill. So let's let's just see what we can do here. Now, I'm not using a shield for obvious reasons because I just want to kill them as quickly as possible, and my shield is going to get destroyed very, very quickly. But I don't know. Maybe using a shield is a good idea now that I've taken a bit of damage. Maybe it would be a good idea. I don't know. But what I'm going to do first is... is it, Can I go this way or... Hello. Are you the prisoners or are you going to kill me? Because I'm a bit tired right now. Hello. Okay, they're refugees. So I guess I'm going to rescue them from here. But obviously I need to kill the rest of the bandits. Well, this is going to be interesting. Not entirely sure. Hmm. Okay. I don't have high hopes for this. This is basically the same kind of situation that we had previously. I'm going to get out my shield just in case we get shot. Because that was the reason why we took quite a bit of damage from the initial assault. Okay, let's do this. Alright, so how many do they have? One, do they have a crossbowman? Do they really have a crossbowman? It looks like a crossbow user. Okay, so let's just have them waste all of their... All of their javelins. And then I'm going to get ready. Because, yeah, here we go. Okay, come on. Come on, then. Let's do this. Okay, okay, yes. You, 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 yeah, you definitely came towards me. That's great. Okay, so let's try and be a little bit... 
Come on. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna try and dodge a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like. And uh, maybe a little bit more. No. That's not very good, is it? Borga, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, no. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. That's what happened before. That is what happened before. Exactly the same thing. Uh, almost. We almost did it. If only that skirmisher was just a little bit further away. Hmm. Okay, so I don't have enough money right now because I literally just lost, what, 1,500 from those bandits? But mark my words, in the next episode, we will be successful in clearing out Odin's cave. And then we'll be heading back and maybe we'll choose our own faction and ask them to join us and then we'll do some vassal battles and things like that. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.